Last book, The Art and Making of Disney's Aladdin from 2019. Written by Emily Zimler and introduction by Guy Ritchie. Another hardcover. I know a lot of people were up in arms about this because... My childhood, it's going to be ruined. But, eh, whatever. <laughs> Hop on your TV so you can enjoy this shit. So, I enjoyed the fuck out of this. This is a hundred and... 60 pages total. That's a great movie. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Why did I enjoy it so much? Because they really went all out in bringing... And in, in, they brought it back. Like, they brought the majesty of Aladdin back in live action. Like, that's amazing. Most films, they can't do that. Some can, some can't. But the biggest issue a lot of people have was Will Smith is genie. And that was so damn funny. Like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I love the cast. I love the movie. Am I excited for the sequel? Eh, kind of, but not really. I mean, it was a great movie. It's better as a one-off, honestly. But I remember a lot of people didn't like Will Smith as Gene and a whole bunch of other bullshit. <laughs> but for me, it was great. They really pulled out all the fucking stops and made it... It was spectacular. It outdoes the original. And I know there's somebody watching this going to be like, You can't say that! You're wrong! Uh, nothing tops Robin Williams. Nothing. Well, okay, you can have your wrong opinion. <laughs> but yeah, Will Smith did better than Robin Williams. Definitely. People don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. Yeah. But yeah, they really went all out. The costume design, the marketplace, all that good shit. And even tying in the, uh, what was that? The Boatsman, I think, or the Merchant was part of the story. That's pretty cool. What was the best part about this movie? Definitely the parade. For real. Like, that parade, that was out fucking standing. I mean, that was just, that blew me the fuck away. I mean, the amount of detail, effort, creation. Yeah. This was great. <laughs> Some two page spreads in this. I still remember, and I brought this up before, um, when Disney had its 25th anniversary. This was 97, I think, or so. Um, I remember when Scott Weinger and what was, I forget the girl's name who did Jasmine's voice. Both of them were in a commercial for the 25th anniversary. And Scott was dressed as Aladdin. And she was dressed as Jasmine. I remember that. It was so cool. Because it was one of them things where... Uh, not It was a thing of where back then voice talents were made more known and popular and it helped you uh, you know showed who they were and shit whereas um 
nowadays everybody wants to bitch and moan how it's white voicing and all this other bullshit. I'm like, dude, that was cool. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I remember that. Like, they danced in the commercial. But I cannot find that fucking commercial anywhere. And it bugs me, because I really do. I remember it so fondly, because it was one of those cool things. I was like, oh, cool, I recognize who they are. Because I think they did a featurette or something. One time. And, yeah, like, I'm so-and-so, I do the voice talent for whoever, and I love that. the stops of this movie though i love the shit out of it i'm kind of surprised they didn't have like a little cameo from scott and uh his co-star you know, just like a little throwback for it that would have been nice but oh well no big deal dude her dresses were phenomenal in the movie loved them And she looks like Jasmine, too. I know people are calling Jafar a thirst trap for whatever fucking reason. I think that's hilarious as shit. <laughs> like, eh. He's not attractive. I mean, he's handsome, but I wouldn't say he's attractive. But I do like his setup, too. That was nice. Yeah, he's handsome. He's not a thirst trap, though. <laughs> not to me, anyway. She was adorable. I do like her dress, too. It's like the intricate designs on that. Outstanding. And I liked Salton too, like, it was cool. It was nice seeing him brought to life, like, that was amazing. Although, if I had to choose somebody to play Salton, I would have went with, um, Dom DeLuise. Just because of his energy and shit, he would have been good for it. Man, we're almost at, we're already halfway through the book. Nice. Well, that's good news. <laughs> yeah, some of these are dark, which sucks, but at least I'm doing this in the daytime and not at night. That's cool. I can't believe people thought this was gonna suck. <laughs> and it turned out to be damn good. I like the boo, but they I think they could have gone with an actual monkey. Cause they've done that in the past with real animals and shit. Actually trained animals and whatnot. And I think that would have been a lot better. But I don't know. Now, for a tiger, definitely not a real tiger. That wouldn't have worked out too well. Unless it was super goddamn friendly and shit. But, I doubt that. Yeah, they should have gotten a real magic carpet for sure. Like, that would have made it really authentic. For sure, totally. Like, if they'd done a real magic carpet, instead of CGI, I totally would have bought into that more. But, 
Oh well. I'm fucking kidding. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but like on a monkey though, like they could have done a real monkey. And maybe a real tiger. A real tiger would have been pushing it though, but eh, still would have been worth the effort. Uh, what do I think of this book? Well, it's okay. It's not the best. There's not a lot of art in this, and that kind of bugs the fuck out of me. If there had been more art, I'd have been happier, but eh. You get what you're given. Can't niggle over everything. Um, what else? Oh, if you don't like Disney, you won't enjoy this. If you didn't like the movie, you definitely won't enjoy this at all. But if you did enjoy all that shit, you totally will. Yeah, this is probably my favorite one. Just the way her veil goes and the way her hair lays. I like that. And the new songs were cool too. Those are the best. But I mean, like they pulled out all the motherfucking stops with this. Like seriously. So much, man. I do like his final costume though. It looks really good. That's good, and this one's really, really good. I like the combos of red and gold on him. Really good shit. And that snake staff, that's some dope shit too. But yeah, overall, good shit. Uh, will I watch it again? I don't know. Maybe in the future or something. But, yeah. And that's it. So that is all of my uh, book reviews for today. So, there's a lamp. And that's it. And city again. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you want to get this, maybe. If not, understandable. So, I'll hop off of here. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my afternoon slash evening. So, until next time, like and subscribe, our thoughts and prayers.